Once, an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. It went into a tunnel and squeezed through a... My name is Gordon, and I am an LNER A1 Pacific 462, with some modifications. I was a prototype of the A1, nicknamed the A0. My main job is to pull the express from Knapford to Barrow and Furnest in England. I never boast, but this is the most important train on the island of Sodor, as it connects Sodor to the mainland. Pip and Emma take a train from Knapford to London, but my train is special because, well, not everyone from the mainland who's going to Sodor is going to Knapford. How are they? I am the number four on the North Western Railway. Yes, duh. So Gordon, can you tell us your story? Why, uh, yes I shall. My story begins back in 1922. The A1 and A3 are perhaps one of the most iconic steam engines in Britain. The only class who could be more was the A4, our cousin. But let's be honest, they don't look like real steam engines, do they? The most famous A3 is the Flying Scotsman, who is still well in steam. I was built in 1922 as one of the prototypes. We were nicknamed the A0 because of our modifications such as a larger boiler. There were three of us A-Zeros. There was me, Jeremy, and Boris. Jeremy was green like me, but Boris was in a special black livery. He liked this colour, and his livery would soon inspire the livery worn during the Second World War. Anyway, we had passed all our tests at Doncaster, and the following year we were ready to go to our new homes. Highland of Sodor, don't you think it's a bit of a downgrade for your type? Not really, and if it is, then I will revolutionise the railway there. Soon, us express engines will dominate the island. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you, Gordon. Now bring that Doncaster pride into Sodor. Sir Topham Hatch had a good image of Sir Nigel Gresley. When I was built, Gresley offered me to him for a discount price. And of course, the fat controller couldn't let the opportunity slide. He was in need of a fast engine, but didn't quite know how fast I could go. Keep to the speed limits, Gordon. We're not running a race. No, indeed. But we must make a grand entrance, of course. I arrived at Knapford on the 4th of April, 1923. And I tell you, the engines were impressed when they saw me. Oh my god! Look at that! Even I must say so too. Welcome, you must be Gordon. I'm Sir Topham Hatt. I know very well who you are, sir. Pleasure to be here. Oh my goodness, we have the same voice. Why yes, we do. Ah, well anyway, pleasure to be here. And pleasure to meet you all, um, yes. Very pleased. Is there something wrong? Oh no, of course not. Just used to the bustling crowds of London, that's all. You will all learn the ways of the LNER. Another LNER. This is perfect. <laughs> Well, hello there. Hello. You must be one of the A1s. It's Gresley's newest engine. A new engine? Oh, how impressive. And you must be an LNER B12. Oh, they had lots of those in London. 
What fine engines. What's your name? Why, thank you. And, well, I used to be called Alfred, but after an unfortunate circumstance, that name was withdrawn. And so now, I am simply 98462. Withdrawn? What do you mean? I used to be Apple Green, just like you. That was, until that most dreadful experience I had. The Fat Controller blamed it all on me, and took away my LNER heritage by painting me blue and taking away my name. Goodness gracious! How awful! Why would the Fat Controller do such a thing? Sir Topham Hatt has a fear of modernization, apparently. He did not approve of my, um... Uh, Darwinist ideas about change. He's... well... The best way I could describe it is he's a socialist. Doesn't like big companies like LNER interfering with his own business. Don't worry. I'm sure I'll change his views on the idea of revolutionizing. <laughs> I'm sure you will, Gordon. You're just the right engine for bringing me back into the spotlight. Hello, Gordon. What do you think of our railway? It's quite splendid. Quite a nice change compared to the hustle and bustle of the mainland. I'll say this is quite a fine railway. That's great. Anything you were, um, displeased about? Well, not really, but... Actually, there was one thing that I did not approve of. What's that? The treatment of the Blue B-12. Is it true that his name was withdrawn from him? Oh, you must be talking about 98462. Don't listen to him, he's nasty. Why should I think that? He's very polite, and his name is Alfred. Polite? Gordon, 98642 was nothing but trouble when he came to the island. He's right. That engine's arrogance is just horrendous. He has said nothing but insults to us ever since he arrived, along with 87546 over there. Well, it's not like you didn't fuel the arguments. 87546, we did absolutely nothing to provoke him. We were polite to him, but he only called us names. He is nothing but a plain bully. Even so, nullifying an engine's name is quite disgraceful. Yes, Gordon. It is quite a disgrace. And that's why it happened to Alfred. Alfred is also a disgrace. He's... he's... despicable. Uh, Henry just has a prejudice against full-bred engines. <laughs> If you want to know an example of why we do not like 98462, it's because of what he called Henry. He called him a, um... Alfred called me a mongrel! WHAT?! I can't believe that! An LNER express engine using language like that? I'm sure he must have been joking. I agree. He was most certainly not joking, Gordon, I'll tell you that. Goodness gracious! Well, I think we should stop the negative talk, don't you think? I'll see for myself whose side I should be on. Suit yourself. Gordon, you'll be pulling the first high-speed express today to Vickerstown. I will be riding on board with inspectors and enthusiasts. Of course, sir. I'll go and fetch the railwaymen, but remember to be at the station in half an hour. I'll be right on time and spick and span. That's the way of the LNER. Ah! Gordon! Taking the express today, I see. Yes, I am. Splendid! <laughs> now, I'm sure the others have already told you their side of the story about me. And I must admit, some of it is true. I did give Henry that poorly chosen use of derogatory, but I never meant any of it in the slightest. Just a mere slip of the tongue, if you know what I mean. Indeed. 
I'll decide for myself which side to be on, if you don't mind. Of course you should. But in the end, I pray you do not select the wrong side, my dear friend. Hurry up! I can't be late on the first run! I think someone's being a bit bossy. Pa! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Trickety drop, trickety drop! Eighty-eight, eighty-nine, ninety, almost there, chap! The 6th of April, 1923, was by no doubt the best day of my life. My goodness! At around 10.16 a.m. I reached 100 miles per hour. 98! 99! 100! You've done it, boy! I knew I could do it! Come on, coaches! We've still got a long way to go. Whoa, Gordon! Easy does it! Well done, boy! Goodness, we're over 20 minutes early! Goodness gracious, how did you manage to reach such a speed? It's what I was built for, sir. Top speed of 100 miles per hour. 100 miles per hour?! Alright, Gordon. What you showed me today was more than I needed to see. Huh. Going down the line at that speed will only knock him to bits. Be quiet, 98462. You and your minion 87546 have already caused enough trouble this week. Now then, Gordon. It's clear to me that the Express would benefit enormously from you. Therefore, I and many others agree that it would be best if the number four belonged to you. Why, sir! It would be an honor! Thank you so much! Welcome to the Northwestern Railway, Gordon! Same here. Hold on! I'm sorry, but first you denied me number three, and now you push me back again? I recall you saying you would give me an 87546, the next numbers! Only if you behaved, which you two have most certainly not. I beg your... Pardon? Like I literally just said, you both have been nothing but trouble since you got here. I'm starting to wonder why I've kept giving you second chances, 98462. Now, good day! It's Alfred! Well, bust my buffers. What a scoundrel! Well... I guess your plan didn't work. Yeah, so as you probably guessed, Alfred was a bit of a whiner. Oh well, we'll get back to him later. Anyway, I was given a new coat of paint, and I decided to choose a color more to my liking. My goodness! Gordon, is that you? Or oh, has 87546 gone quite fast all of a sudden? What do you think? Why did you choose blue? To fit in with the family, of course. And I always liked blue as well. Never was a fan of that apple green. I could beg to differ. Pitting over your LNER paint with that disgusting bright blue that's just disgraceful 98462 I am now fully understanding why the others treat you the way they do 
You're one of the rudest engines I've ever known. Will you shut up, you great big blue wretched steaming hippopotamus? Why, you son of a- <coughs> What happened to him? Well, um, it's not very nice to talk about, to be honest. He went mad. Bonkers. Mentally disturbed. You will both burn in the fires of hell! Ah! <laughs>